Hi folks, and welcome to the second part in this series on static pressure fans, which don't exist. In this video, I am going to go through some performance tests with the selection of fans that you see in front of me, some of which you will be familiar with and others you may not have seen before. The first test is an apples to apples comparison of each fan's maximum static pressure performance at 1600 RPM. Uh, I've chosen that speed because it represents a pretty good middle of the road value between common fan speeds of anything from 1000 to 2000 RPM. Now I did have to overvote some of these fans to get them to that value but everything worked out really well and I now have a good table of pressure performance that I can use as a frame of reference for future tests. So without further ado let's see how these fans perform. I want to highlight just a few of these fans, the first being the A12 X25, for which I'm sure we all have high hopes. It manages to achieve a maximum pressure of 14 pascals. Next up is the Gentle Typhoon, which was also running at its native 12 volts. It pushed past the Noctua with a pressure of just over 15 pascals. The Arctic P12 was a different story. It seems to have a pretty garbage motor, so I had to overvolt it to reach the target speed of 1600 RPM, but it still managed to outperform its more premium contemporaries with a score of 16 pascals. Lastly, the S12B needed a significant voltage bump to get to 1600 RPM, and at that speed it developed the highest pressure of all fans so far. Here's the complete table of results, which you may be surprised shows most of the so-called high static pressure fans all the way at the bottom. Now, this doesn't make them bad fans by any means, but it does objectively show that the familiar curved impeller blade design is poor at developing high pressure. For the second round of tests, I want to see if there's a correlation between static pressure performance and heatsink performance, which is basically how the story goes. You'll have heard it before. If you want a good case fan, get yourself an airflow fan like the Noctua S12. If you want good heatsink or radiator performance, get yourself a static pressure fan like the A12X25 or similar. Now, my methodology is pretty straightforward. I will be testing each fan on the same heatsink and at the same speed as before, 1600 RPM, and I will be monitoring the intake temperature throughout the test and this will be used as the value for ambient temperature. Software wise, I'll be running Prime95 small FFT's torture test for 15 minutes with each fan. This test is considerably more intense than the likes of the AIDA64 stability test or things like Cinebench. I'll record the maximum load temperature for each run and then subtract the maximum intake temperature from that value to give me a resultant delta temperature. The results this time are quite different from what we saw in the pressure test. The leading four fans are essentially neck and neck, which is surprising in the case of the Gentle Typhoon given its position in the previous test. Once again, the A12X25 is trailing behind the others, but if we look at the complete chart, we get a different picture, with only minor disparity in the performance. There's really not much separating the fans from one another, and every fan tested would provide a perfectly acceptable level of cooling on a heatsink or radiator. So there you have it. There isn't a correlation between static pressure performance and heatsink performance. Now, it's interesting to note that the likes of the S12 and the A12, whilst being hailed as airflow and static pressure fans, 
are actually at the same speed, almost identical. The only difference is the A12 is remarkably quiet. And if that's the sort of thing that you're looking for, which is the case for most people, that'll be the fan that you're going to choose. Now, the next video, I'm going to look at the matter of static pressure optimization and whether or not that is something that really exists or if it is a myth like static pressure fans. Thanks for watching.